Let's start this video by first showing you this impossible trichromatic spectrum that's specifically tailored to people with strong red-green color vision deficiencies. What you're currently seeing is a spectrum made up of impossible combinations of the few colors that a strong dichromat can see. The currently chosen impossible colors should work best for people with protonomaly or protonopia, a form of red deficiency. But it should work relatively well for people with different severities of red and green color vision deficiencies, too. For those who are watching this video without a VR headset, the right screen duplicates and displays the video but with time-based instead of binocular impossible colors, which essentially create the same impossible color combinations, but without their brilliance and increased luminance. Such temporal colors just make use of time as an additional dimension, instead of our second eye. But let's not overwhelm you and revert this impossible trichromatic spectrum back to a dichromatic spectrum and a trichromatic one we cited for reference, both with basic colors. Impossible trichromacy. In the following I'll explain to you what you've just seen, why it's particularly significant and how it can change the lives of all color vision deficient people for the better. This idealized version of a dichromatic spectrum consists only of the comparatively few colors a strong red-green dichromat can see. That's mainly a yellowish and a bluish color, as well as a white and a black. A strong dichromat is most often someone who's either entirely missing a red or a green cone type, or whose red and green cone absorption spectra are so close together that they're basically indistinguishable from each other. Although the same principle applies to any reductive abnormalities of the neurotypical three cone system we humans possess. With this kind of vision, the millions of colors trichromats can see collapse into only two colors, yellowish and bluish, with white as their mixture and black as their absence. Dichromats can still see colors, and everything will still more or less have a unique color. But strong dichromats perceive changes in color rather as changes in luminance of either the yellowish and bluish color they see. It's comparable to watching a black and white movie. We can still see that there should be colors. And if the black and white colors change, we know that it should also coincide with the color change in most cases. But we're just not able to make the difference. And this inability to detect as many color differences as neurotypical trichromats is what it means to have a color vision deficiency. Because color vision deficiencies are mostly tied to randomized genetic abnormalities, everyone possesses different severities of color vision deficiencies and thus will perceive colors a little bit differently. This is why I chose this idealized red-green dichromatic color spectrum, so that everyone will see more or less the same reduced color spectrum and can be brought onto the same color vision level. This also serves the purpose to show you that especially the most extreme cases of dichromacy will benefit from the impossible trichromatic spectrum we've just seen. Impossible colors. Impossible color combinations are colors which make use of the binocular redundancy of our two eyes regarding color vision. Because both of our eyes see colors in almost the exact same way, we can change the colors of one eye to create impossible color combinations. Impossible color combinations can be differentiated as unique colors and are incomparable to any other basic color you can see in the majority of cases. Whether you're someone with neurotypical or abnormal color vision, as long as you can see, then impossible color combinations can even be possible with monochromatic color vision. Though well, in the latter case there are only impossible color combinations of black and white colors possible. Correcting red-green color blindness. In the following I focus on red-green color vision deficiencies, in this case specifically, but not exclusively protonomaly and protonopia. That's because I can easily simulate protonopia myself by wearing glasses with lenses which possess a strong cyan tint in order to confirm the validity of the color vision enhancement. With protonopia you cannot see red. This not only means that your visible spectrum is reduced, but also that you only be able to see a yellowish and bluish color plus white and black. Subsequently, with this reduced color vision, the only colors we can work with to create impossible color combinations are these four colors. Yellowish, bluish, white and black. Compared to the many more unique colors a trichromat can see, it's a rather small amount, but certainly still enough to simulate a proper and functional form of trichromacy using impossible colors. Now let's look at the impossible trichromatic spectrum from the beginning again, but this time let's analyze it with the knowledge we've just acquired. In the following, the first color name of each impossible mixture will belong to the left and the second to the right eye. We start from the left. Red, which normally looks almost black to a protonope, becomes a white black. Yellow stays the same normal yellowish color a protonope is familiar with, but green becomes a blue yellow. Cyan, which is normally indistinguishable from white, becomes a yellow white. Blue, much like yellow, stays the same, but magenta becomes a black blue. 
with this custom impossible color spectrum. While it might not have as many uniquely distinguishable colors as in trichromacy, you, as a protona, can effectively differentiate colors as if you had trichromacy. With this form of impossible trichromatic vision, dichromats are able to differentiate colors incredibly better. Yes, they won't see entirely new colors, and they'll definitely not see colors the same way that neurotypical trichromats see them. But they'll be able to differentiate colors very similarly well to trichromats. Just study the impossible colors you're seeing here, remember which one relates to which trichromatic color, and you'll easily be able to, for example, tell yellow and green apart. Yellow is your standard yellow, but green is very distinct because it's a blue yellow. For a protonope, this gradient here is basically a single color, but with this enhanced color vision, they can easily make a unique difference. Or even better, the nemesis of every red-green color vision deficient person, you'll be able to distinguish blue from purple and magenta. In this blue to magenta gradient, for example, blue is the same old blue, but magenta is a dark blue. Red, a color which protonops can normally not even see because it's as dark as black, becomes vividly visible because it's a white black now. With this impossible color vision you can differentiate seven unique colors just as if you had trichromacy. Admittedly, some of the in-between colors will still be a little bit difficult to differentiate. Especially colors like lime and cobalt will look similar with this setup. Although they're technically different impossible colors, if you consider the construction of these impossible colors based on their constituent colors' ilateralities. But most colors, mainly the primary and secondary colors, can be easily distinguished from each other. With a little bit of training and getting used to these impossible colors, you'll be able to detect and correctly name colors as if you had trichromacy, and that even as someone with a strong red-green color vision deficiency. Images with impossible trichromacy. Next, I'll show you some images which work really well with this impossible trichromatic vision. Once you've memorized which impossible color relates to which trichromatic color, you'll be able to more easily tell them apart. I hope with this impossible display of colors I've convinced you that color vision deficiencies, while definitely inferior in color differentiability to neurotypical trichromacy, are certainly not the end of the road. With a little bit of ingenuity, and by making the impossible possible, any form of color vision, be it inferior or superior to trichromacy, can be enhanced. While dichromats don't have as many unique colors as trichromats to create impossible color combinations, they still see enough colors to be able to create enough of them in order to enhance their color vision. Color in Color My application Color in Color for PC and VR, which I'm currently developing, enables you to customize your own color vision, just like we did in this video. You can swap the indistinguishable colors of one eye and exchange them with colors you can differentiate to create impossible colors, which are unique from every other basic color. Be it impossible binocular or temporal colors, your color vision becomes incredibly customizable. Though not as easy as with trichromacy, as a dichromat you can still customize your color vision to be able to differentiate colors as if you had trichromacy, tetrachromacy or more. The possibilities seem endless if you can access impossible colors and integrate them into your color vision. Only your own imagination becomes the limit. Closing words. In the next videos, I'll show you how the world looks like with pentachromatic and even better color vision. If you've watched my VR video on tetrachromacy and you were already stunned by the comparatively few but still amazing displays of impossible colors and the better color differentiability resulting thereof, then you'll be even more amazed each time we increase our color vision and implement more and more unique impossible colors into it. With color in color, we can make almost every image render more colors than you've possibly seen in an entire year or even your entire life. And all of these added impossible colors highlight details you couldn't even imagine being able to see with your current vision. One simple painting can sparkle in billions of unique colors and your visual perception of reality can become incredibly more detailed. Color in color and the upcoming videos will be amazingly beautiful and they'll change human color vision forever. So stay tuned and subscribe in order to fetch new ways to experience life. I am Ukwai and I will show you how to reshape and enhance your sensory experiences because it is nothing but our senses that connect us to this world. Thanks for watching.